So what is up guys, Killer Kevin today back with a brand new episode of Fallout 4 Mod Showcases. Today this is going to be 10 brand new mods to hit the Bethesda.net website this week. 10 mods that I've just gone in that have picked from this week that have been enjoying and thought I'd showcase in a video pretty much similar to what I do with the top five if not the new console mods for Skyrim but this is going to be the Fallout 4 episode again this is going to be episode 27 within my series but without further ado guys let's just jump straight into the video for our first spot within the video is going to be tactical combat armor coming in at 63.3 megabytes of a download this is going to be one of many ports within this video this is going to be a port from obviously the nexusmods.com unfortunately this is going to be a female only armor fixed the male bugs in quotations to do with the description of this one the tactical combat armor can be crafted under utility changing the colors at the armor's workbench the suit has been built to the reduce the CBBE body, same as the original CBBE mod. Very nice indeed. The mod author has given open permissions for this particular mod author on the Bethesda.net to get it from the Nexus. Very nice indeed, as I said, one from many from this mod author within the video, but they have been blowing up and they've been absolutely brilliant. And for the second spot within this video is going to be the Terror Nurse outfit. This again is going to be another CBBE be coming in at 2.6 megabytes of a download this lovely nurse outfit is from terror online it's tight and it's sexy without being too revealing that is for damn sure this outfit has been edited and ported to the xbox one users for us to enjoy again i do believe this is going to be from the nexusmods.com full permissions and open permissions to port this one over again very easy to equip and get this one the breasts have been removed to the lower half of so the stitching to the effect to compare with the TOS, obviously to go with the TOS terms of service. So make sure you equip the boots and the uniform, otherwise it may look a little bit weird. You can't really mix and match this particular outfit. Best bet is to probably all put it in together. The outfit is crafted at the chem station. For number three in this video is going to be the Infiltrator body suit, 22.9 megabytes of a download for this one. Again, this is going to be another CBBE for the females only. The male bugs has been fixed in quotations. The bodysuit can be crafted under utilities in the chem station once again. The suit has been built to reduce the CBBE body once again to do with that one. And once again on this particular mod, if not all of the mods that we are going to be going through out of this video, they do have open permissions to get ported over. For our fourth spot within the video is going to be Age of Airships, only coming in at 9.9 .9 megabytes of a download. The requirement for this one is going to be the Far Harbor and Nuka World DLCs, but if you are running a Game of the Year edition, you will have no problems with that one. The features of this one is going to explore eight ridiculously large airships floating around the game world, half of which being within the hemisphere of this. Three of these particular airships are going to be functional player homes for you to enjoy. Explore the famous Hindenburg and see how the world's largest airships looks on the inside. Travel instantly by using the network, the doors hidden behind miniature models in display. Two, flight in three Battlefield 1 inspired combat encounters with behemoth airships. Those look pretty damn cool as well. And the third one being enjoy three missions integrated within this particular mod this mod has definitely been popping off this week there are some bugs and glitches that need to be flattened out and the mod author is aware of that and has been sorting out of them left and right but as you can tell on the screen now it does look absolutely phenomenal loads to choose from and the great thing is not only for that incredibly small download size but for the simple fact of it is going to be on all platforms Coming in at number five is going to be the Nova Katsu. This one is again another CBBE, 10.3 megabytes of a download for this particular one. Once again, you can craft this within the chem station, pretty easy to get. And obviously this one does have full permission, if not open permissions from to be ported from, shall I say, from the nexusmods.com. 
For number six in this video is going to be shopping carts vendors. This is coming in at 57.1 kilobytes of a download. Now this is already existing on the PlayStation 4. Originally I do believe this was going to be an exclusive for PlayStation 4 but only this week they have released it for Xbox One 2 so every console player can get it. Shopping cart vendors place the carts and then place the decorations on them to spice things up yourself. If you're using the supply clutter in the best to build on flat grounds or even floors to get the best aesthetic point of view of this one. There's a ton of different carts to pick from. One is going to be an armored cart, one is going to be a bar, two as a clinic carts, number one and well another one is going to be a clothing cart, two junk ones, two weapons and a few other different miscellaneous ones for you to pick up. You will obviously need the Nuka World DLC again to have this one fully working if not working within your game. Very nice indeed once again if you haven't picked up Game of the Year Edition you can pretty much pick it up for practically nothing now which is really nice indeed because you get every expansion for you to go and play through. If you haven't played it in them make sure you do as well because it's a whole new experience and as we know within the vanilla based game of Fallout 4 there's a ton of content let alone within the DLCs. For the seventh spot within the video, you guessed it once again, it is going to be another female armor only. For this one, it is going to be the Ranger armor, only 45.7 megabytes of a download. This has reduced the mod side and fixed the body slide to fit this one in to the game. Again, this is going to be a port with open permissions from the NexusMods.com. And once again, this armor can be crafted at the chem station. Coming to number eight is going to be probably one of my favorite for the last month. It is such an intricate mod. It is on all platforms and I highly suggest everyone at least trying this particular mod. It's gonna be a military clutter only coming in at 28.1 kilobytes of a download. It's a variety, if not a huge amount of different crates that you can have as singles. You can even stack them up as well. Visually, they have loads of different things within them obviously to do with a military background hence the military clutter for this one such as mines grenades missiles sniper rifles fat mans fusion cores and cells along with much more to give your base a military feel and you can pretty much load it out if not deck it out to whatever you want for this is going to be a few materials to obviously make and each item can be found under the furniture in miscellaneous very nice indeed i do like for the fact as well that some of the boxes do have their own things such as the sniper rifle not only does it have the sniper rifle in it, it has a couple of bullets an extra mag a different scope perhaps or even a different barrel very nice in indeed to have scattered around your settlement and for the ninth spot within the video is going to be Grudgel's birthday sweet roll grenades yes sweet rolls are from Skyrim special edition if not any Skyrim but they have been ported and implemented within Fallout 4. A quick mod to make this bizarre grenade, you can actually craft them once again within the chem station. Thought it was quite funny and funky, you guys know if you're a fellow subscriber of the channel, you've been around here a long time, you do know that I do enjoy a funny and quirky mod to be added to the Bethesda.net. Could not skim this and could not miss this, this one is only coming in at 1.5 kilobytes of a download. And for the last spot within the video is going to be King of the Wild Hunt. This is going to be a male armor only. We've covered a lot of female armors only within this particular video. But this one is going to be for the males only. I've saved the best till last. This one is a beautiful port from the NexusMods.com. This is absolutely insane. I'm pretty sure it's from the NexusMods.com. I'm not too sure. It does look too good to be from just the original Bethesda. This one is only coming in at 9.6 megabytes of a download. For this one, it can be crafted once again in the chem station. It does come in two different color schemes for you to pick up from. If you want to change the colors, as usual, head into the armor workbench to change it. Female characters cannot wear this armor. The helmet does work fine, but the chest piece, if not the overall aesthetic point of view from other armors, will work nice. There's a small amount of clipping to do while you are wearing this on the pit boy but here and there if you want to debate that overall very nice indeed 
So guys, that's the end of this video. Hopefully you guys did enjoy this episode. This has been episode 27 within my Fallout 4 series. We do this absolutely every Sunday. If you're a fan of Fallout 4 and you want to have a collection of really good mods that have just come out this particular week that you're viewing this, maybe you viewed this in the future, then you know, consider clicking that subscribe button. We're going to do this every week on every Sunday at 7.30 GMT. Do not worry about that. If not a little bit later, it might be 9 GMT in the evening. Who knows when I'm going to schedule it. But if you want to know when it does hit the channel, make sure to click that bell. But until the next one, guys, get a gift and get a gift out. Well, you